Hey friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. In this video, I am going to give a correction about Odata Deep Entity Declaration Part. Video number 6 about Deep Entity. I have explained and showed you how to add a Deep Entity structure in MPC extension class. And in the same video, I, I mentioned if you add anything in Deep Entity, like sorry, uh, MPC extension class and regenerate your Odata project, the data getting erased, the code getting erased. We, we, we have seen that also. So found a solution for that. Because every time if you regenerate uh, the deep entity getting erased, you take a backup and going for after regeneration, just go and copy and paste the code is not a right way. So today I'm going to show you both the scenarios. The first scenario, if you add it this way, automatically whenever there is a generation happen, regeneration of the data project, the code getting erased, scenario one. Scenario two, solution for that. So if you follow the step two, scenario two, then you don't worry about it. Whenever you, you do the regeneration of the project, it won't delete anything from your MPC extension class. Okay. So this is the correction video I can say for video number six in Odata Service playlist. So get into SCGW, create a project. I'm not going to create any project uh, with full deep entity because you know about that. So here the intention is to show you how the code getting erased if you follow the step one and how the code is not getting erased if you follow the step two. So I need one entity, so what sales, and I need just two properties. So properties I'm going to add, not the proper declaration, uh, like adding this, um, what do you call, okay, I'll fill only the mandatory part. That way I can say, I'm not going to give what is the size and everything, because we're not going to use that. Need something to be declared already in the MPC extension class before I reach for the deep entity purpose. So that's it. Activate. Like generate. Oops. Sales is not a unique to the parent. So that is somewhere. Okay. Sales number. So probably because I generated and deleted the same project name like CGI underscore deep and it has a property of sales. So probably the name of the entity sales as well as the property also sales. That could be the reason. I'm not sure. Because it says sales here and sales here. Probably that would be the reason. So now it's generated. Now go to the artifact. <coughs> so here go to MPC extension. So this is scenario one, step one. If you follow this, whenever if you do the regeneration, automatically the code will be erased. So don't follow this step. So go types. This is what the step one was explained in my video six as, as well. So go down. Yeah, these are the things, right? It's already added here. So change mode. I am an extension class, MPC extension class. And I explain just use any one of the button, like existing. Uh, declaration use any one of the button so this is the way we you should not do that but i'll do that and show you so go here and change mode okay this is the one so here under this scenes i'm going to add something like tg item type this is not related to deep entity deep entity the idea is if you write whatever you want using that particular button means existing design it will erase after your regeneration of your old data project. Okay, so let me save this. Activate it. So my name is Ita. Okay. So go back, and you can see the Ita listed here. So it's listed here also. Right. It's good. One more activation in the global level. Now go back and regenerate your project. Add into any change, even whatever it is. If the regeneration happens, then whatever is um, added in the MPC extension with the step one, like scenario one process, it gets erased. Types. So the ITAP to be erased. Down. See? It's gone. I TT sales, if you go under the TT sales, I added right, it's gone. 
So don't do that. Solution is simple. Change here. Give a name here first. Um, right up, same thing. Then use this option. It will ask you want to change, uh, save the changes. Yes. Then you can add it. Right. Table of Mara. Okay, so you can access your existing one. If you want to access the uh, TT sales, yes, you can do it. For example, TT sales because in deep penalty normally we use the previous one, right? So that way, if you want to use, you can use it. Save it, activate it. I think yeah. Okay, so it should be TS. It's not ES. So TT, TT is, is a whole body with the table default key. So I want just a structure. So the intention is, yes, we got deep entity. We have to use the existing uh, declaration. So here I go over TS sales. Yes. Back to word. Then back. So here you can see the item now. And again, regenerate. So the expectation is whatever we declared under MPC extension in the types tab, it should be there even after regenerate your whole data project. So go here and go to types. I'm in MPC extension class. So here it is I done. And you can find the differentiate in the color. It's, it's a little blue and this is black, whatever you declared. Okay. So please follow step number two or scenario two. To declare anything in MPC extension class, mostly this part we are using in the deep entity. So if you want to create a deep entity structure, please use it. Step two, just add the name first and use this button. Go ahead and don't follow whatever I explained in video number six. Okay, this is a small correction. So sorry for the in inconvenience if anything is caused. Thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video. Bye.